Hey everybody, Grandad here again. What am I up to today? Well, today I'm at the uh, in Wales, looking at the Silver Mountain uh, experience, and we're in the uh, main area of the uh, attraction, and uh, we've had a little while here, and we're looking around some of the uh, ancient buildings and sights to be seen. There's lots of water wheels. And this, in, this shed here contains jiggers and a cart and gold panning area. Now when we came this wheel was going round with water, it's an overshot water wheel. And this is another bit of water which uh, drives other bits and pieces of the site. Now this is uh, a sluice for running water around the site to drive various bits of machinery. Very interesting. And. Uh, We've had a really good afternoon looking round here. These are the ancient workings of a uh, silver mine. It's lead silver. It's a lead mine, but it contained a lot of uh, a lot of silver, so they call it a silver mine. And there's various bits and pieces of the mine still in existence. And uh, these are the various bits that we've been looking at. And uh, very interesting it is too. Now we've looked all around the mine and we've been underground but it wasn't really suitable for uh, a tour as such to take a, a video but I just thought I'd like to take a little bit of video showing the mine workings and the actual place itself. It's called the Silver Mountain Experience and there's several attractions here uh, you, where you can take trips underground for children and it's a really interesting place. So, uh, if you're looking for a good day out, you couldn't do better than to come to the Silver Mine Experience in Wales, not far from uh, um, Mahantliff in North Wales, in England, on the way to Aberystwyth, just outside uh, Lan. I can't remember the place now. This is the old uh, counting house they called it. The girls are in there doing a little bit and there's a museum to look at. But there's lots of machinery and tracks going all around. And it's a very interesting sight. Of course there's beautiful countryside all around. And so uh, really good place to come and uh, spend a day looking around uh, the various bits of this mine. And uh, it's on the way as I say to Aberystwyth near a place called Lennard Lowes, I've just remembered where it is, on the A44 through Lennard Lowes. It's also the same place as we came when we saw the Red Kites. It's very close to where we saw the Red Kites uh, attraction, which was very interesting. And so this is the Silver Mountain experience. And uh, not a very long video. The water comes down and they obviously uh, take it off higher up in the hill, bring the water down to drive all the machinery for this uh, ancient lead mine. Now it didn't really tell us how much silver they got out of here, but uh, the type of lead that they get out of here is a type which I can't remember the name of now unfortunately. Um, I might look it up, but it's uh, an ancient, the name they call it, the type of lead it is, it's an ancient name for uh, silver, which I can't quite remember what it was. The girl did tell us on the tour, but it was very interesting. And I'm sure we'll come again because it's uh, one of the experiences, Sam who's along with us and the girls, wasn't able to go on because it's uh, he wasn't quite old enough. So we'll probably come here again and do another little bit of viewing. But if you're ever in Wales and you want an afternoon looking around various uh, attractions of lead mines and history and different places connected with uh, the mines, you couldn't do better than come here. There's uh, the Black Chasm, which is the bit we couldn't go in, and the Miners Trail, which we did look at, 
we were able to go into there and that tells you a little bit about it this is the mine office and uh, the girls now have gone in the drawing room so uh, it's only a short little video but I thought it was worth making but uh, as usual grand out will break off now and uh, until we meet again and go somewhere else interesting, his granddad is you saying bye-bye now, bye-bye.